girl. Hey, hey. I have 10 of the most long lasting fragrances for you guys. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to mention the one that always gets mentioned in this. Well, I don't know if it gets mentioned in this category, but everybody mentions this fragrances and I'm going to mention it too. That has to be your infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. Look at the bottle. I always like this bottle always i think it's such a classy beautiful bottle i love the bottle so this has benzoin in it this is such a weird fragrance like it's so hard to describe for me but it's like airy creamy um marshmallowy i don't even know if it has if it has marshmallows in there i don't think it does but you guys, this fragrance is really hard for me to describe, but it's super sweet and it's airy. It's kind of um, unisex in, in one way, but let me tell you guys a little story on this. I got in the car and this is, this is like, woo, maybe like eight months ago, okay? Yeah, like around eight months. I got in the car, okay, and then I put my seatbelt on and I had this fragrance. This was my fragrance of the day. You guys, the smell of this perfume is still lingering on the seatbelt after eight months. So this does go, you can go nose blind on it. Like you're just like, where is it? Where is it? But everybody else smells around or everybody else smells it around you. It lasts all all day long so yeah i'm not so sure if it projects as well i mean i've smelt it on so many people that is just one of the reasons i cannot stand it right now in my pregnancy because i don't know what it has i know that it has molecules in there and stuff like that and it blends different in with your with your body chemistry but you guys this will linger on your body. This will linger on your clothes. This will linger everywhere and it'll last all day or day. Now, I didn't bring that one out because I just have the sample. But to my, my per uh, per personal pref preference, oh gosh, to my per okay, I prefer this the X straight. That one has almond, bitter almond in it, and that one is very similar to this one but the bitter almond in it is just different i don't know how to describe it but it's way better if you guys haven't smelled the like, straight um you i got mine from max aroma so yeah i'm just throwing that one in there but you guys the X straight lasts way 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 longer than this one and it does not go like it doesn't do a disappearing act on you either so yeah that that one i'm gonna i'm gonna save some molita and buy that one so okay that was number one number two i have to bring out be layered and that is cherry delight this is uh your dupe for tom ford girls i've wore this and this lingers on my skin forever and ever and ever and ever you're not gonna go wrong with any of these scents they will stay on your skin for a really 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 long time this is your, you see, I couldn't even spray the Baccarat because I just don't like the smell of the Baccarat right now because it, I don't know, it does something to me. It's, it's so weird. It, it's the only fragrance I cannot smell right now. But the real me loves that fragrance to pieces. But you guys, this Cherry Delight will linger forever and ever and ever and ever. And it is like a a cherry i i can see i've heard people saying that tom ford smells um like cough drop cough drop like medicine but this is kind of like a bitter cherry with almonds and oh it's such a delete delicious boozy cherry like if you like boozy perfumes i'm pretty sure you would like this one this is this is very nice that is cherry delight from be layered it lasts on your skin for more than eight hours i tested 
Lost Cherry, and I tested this one, and this one outbeat Lost Cherry. So, just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, up next, I have two of the same house. Um, it has to be Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And you guys, this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. It lingers forever. It has honey. The most prominent note I smell with this one is straight up honey. Like, I don't smell nothing else. I know that it has more, uh, more notes to it, but I don't smell anything else but honey. Oh, I love this fragrance to pieces, you guys. I really, really, really love this one. If you haven't smelled Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal, uh, what you doing, girlfriend? Just saying, what you doing, girlfriend? But you guys, the, the bottle on this one has the... Oh, my God, what am I doing over there? The bottle on this one has the little legs over here. This is the small one. I think this is... Who cares about the small one? You girls will will not go wrong with this one. I'm just saying. It'll last forever and ever and ever and ever. Okie dokie. Up next, we got First Kiss. First Kiss is a dupe for Delina. And this is your rhubarb, lychee, rose, a tart perfume. It, this is like... Woo! That's so delicious. You guys, I wore this one for my mom's wedding and everybody was like, what are you wearing? Oh my gosh, what are you wearing? I did overspray, so I do overspray like crazy. I'm sorry, I keep going like that. I just feel lipstick on my on my retainers. Um, I do overspray, but this one, I do feel like I do have to overspray a little bit more than any other, but this will linger on your skin It'll stay forever and ever and ever. And if I'm completely honest, this was not a love for me. But this is the perfume that by far gets me the most compliments ever. My man loves this. Uh, people compliment me on this. It's just like a phenomenal fragrance. And it lasts on your skin forever and ever and ever and ever. If you overspray, because I did overspray on my mom's wedding. Um yeah this one's so good the lychee and the rose it's tart it's a tart perfume uh it's a tart perfume mm. like it makes you like that you know what i mean like you get like a little watery tartness into your mouth like i don't know how to ex explain it you guys but if you don't have um if you if you want to try out delina you don't want to splurge um if you want to try out Delina, but you don't want to spend all that money, go ahead and get yourself the first kiss. And I also have first kiss exclusive. Um, the a sam I think it's a sample size, a travel size. I'm not sure, so sure what it's called, but I have that one, and I prefer this one over Delina exclusive. Delina exclusive is a little bit more uh powdery, but yeah, be layer. They be doing their stuff good. All right, up next, girls is let me put this one yeah this one will linger on your skin like there is no tomorrow um this is alien from terry moogler and okay this is a jasmine fragrance okay but you guys i don't know if it's just me I also, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I get grape. I get a grape fragrance. Like, I get a grape scent. Let's see. Let's smell. Oh, my goodness. I got my shirt full, full of. Ooh. Jasmine to the max. Classy, sassy, sexy, bold, strong. Um, You walked in the room and everybody's going to be like, you know, you're going to. Mm, 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 mm. walk into the room with your confidence but before you this is gonna come in yeah like it came and then it's you mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you guys this is such a good fragrance like 
Uh, Mila LeBlanc made me buy this fragrance and she was not lying, you guys. I really like her recommendations anyways. But yeah, I've wore this and it has lasted maybe over, whew, mm, more, more than eight hours. Okay, let's, let, let, let's, let's stop right there, girlfriend, and I'm going to say something. Fragrances are different on any skin, like on different people. We all know that, right? But I just want to mention that because maybe you ha you don't have this fragrance and you go and you buy this fragrance and you're like, Erica, this did not last on my skin, not one bit. But it lasts on my skin forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So it's on, it depends on your, on your, um, what is it called? Your pH? What is it? it dip, it just depends on your skin girlfriend just depends on your skin it depends on how you overspray too i'm an oversprayer i spray this in my hair i spray this on my skin i spray this on my clothes i just spray 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 all of my fragrances all of them so this one lasts forever and ever and ever and ever and like i said this comes before you Okie dokie, moving on. I have to mention this one. I raved about this fragrance for a really long time. And this is for, uh, uh, Mason Francis Kirk de Jean Gentle Fluidity Gold. Yeah. This um, has juniper in it and vanilla. And you guys, let me be completely honest. The first time I wore this, it did a disappearing act on me. But in the, okay, so I sprayed it, right? I was like, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. But then I was like, where is it? You know, I was like, where, where's my fragrance? But then my mom came and she was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? You smell so good. This was like, what, six, seven hours after I had sprayed it. So you guys. I tried it out more times and more times, and then it it never did the disappearing act on me. It was so crazy. But anyways, what I mostly get in here is the juniper and the vanilla, and it is delicioso. I love this fragrance. Uh, very sexy. Let's spray, right? Shall we? Did you guys notice I couldn't spray the baccarat? But... Oh, it's fresh and sexy. Like the, the opening is a little bit fresh but then it settles to like a sexy different kind of fragrance i don't have any any like this in my collection if um if you don't if you don't have if you've never smelled the baccarat rouge go ahead and get yourself cloud that is that smells almost just like it but yeah this one is the juniper and the vanilla that i mostly get from the beginning to the end. And it is so, it's such a sexy, classy, a date night, a dinner, even hanging out with your friends. That's what this is. This is everything in one. And, and everybody will smell you, especially if you put it on your hair. So a lot of people say that the alcohol um, is no bueno for your hair. Yeah, that's true. So go ahead and spray it in the back, like right here. And you that will last forever on your hair. I'm telling you, you until you wash it out, you're going to be like, okay, excuse me. You're going to be like, I still smell you. I still smell you. I still smell you until you wash it out. <laughs> okay, moving on. I like to do like a, a, Erica, just shut up and, and show you. Another one that lasts on my skin forever and ever and ever. That has to be Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Rolf. And this has a gunpowder fragrance, a gunpowder note to it. So, you guys, I know that this says nectar, and I, I don't think that the note actually has like a nectarine on it. I think it has orange blossom, but I'm not, I'm not so sure. Pete, I, you know what? I have no idea what this has, but. I do know that it's the gunmetal, and somebody had pointed that out. They said, I think what you smell is the gun, the gunmetal, and I think it is. You guys, if you guys haven't smelled this fragrance from um, Victor and Rolf, Flower Bomb Nectar, what you doing, girlfriend? 
get your nose on this. This will last. This is super syrupy. First of all, it's super duper syrupy. It lasts on your skin for about eight hours. I'm not saying all of these fragrances project like there's like a scent bubble around you. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that you will smell this during the whole day. It does. It's not like YSL Black Opium that you smell super strong and then you're like, where'd it go? It's not like that. This one will linger on your skin and you will smell it all day long. More than eight hours on my skin. Super syrupy, super sweet, super delicious, sexy. I'm so all of these are sexy like all of them if you didn't if you don't want a sexy fragrance girl this this video ain't for you because all of these are extremely sexy extremely mass snatcher and compliment getters and all of them all of them in a bag of chips yeah flower bomb nectar from rick durn Balf. so and i love this little bottle anyways okay <sighs> moving on to um, I only have 10. Let's go with this one. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier La Belle. Yeah. Ooh, such a, uh, a feminine. This is feminine. So is Belayered First Kiss. But you guys, this is straight up a feminine woman fruity you get that pear and that vanilla the i don't know if this one has patchouli in it but anyways this one's just good and and it lasts on your skin for days i'm telling you even on your clothes this will last for days and days and days and days at least, at least that, that happens to my skin and to my clothes when I wear this one. And let's admire the bottle for a little bit. Look. Go and smell this in your department store or wherever you can smell this at. Go and get it, girl. Go and get your nose on it because girls, girls, kittens, and kits. This is phenomenal. Long-lasting. It projects. It just... And um, you know how much this projects and how, how good this is? One day I wore this and my man had to put the windows down because he was like, baby, that's strong. I was like, yeah, but I overdid it. Now with this one, you ain't got to overdo. I mean, if you want to overdo it, go ahead and overdo it. But I, I think I overdid it. Like maybe in that day I used, not just like, <laughs> I'm like, maybe that day I used all of this up. No, I didn't. But a little goes a long way for my skin and I just love La Belle. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna do this one. What is that, Erika? Can you, can you guess? Well, can you guess? It's from Max Aroma. You already saw that, right? So before I actually commit in buying an expensive fragrance. I always like to sample it. Not always, okay? Because I've, I've done some damage without sampling. But if I'm not so convinced and I'm just like, do I want it? Do I not? Do I this? It's like, do I, do I, do I, do I? I just get a sample or whatever this is called. This is from Max Aroma. I think this was like $25. I'm not so sure. I'm going to be buying this one, you guys. I'm going to be buying it. So... What is it, are you asking? This is a BTK Gris Chanel. I am going to be completely honest. I Let's spray. Let's spray. Ooh. Such a different, such. Li listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is not a safe safe blind buy because this is so different that it will like put you back and you'll be like what the hell is this yeah but you guys 
What does this have? Oh my gosh, what is this? Like, okay. I'm trying to figure out to my nose, like what is in here? Because honestly, I have zero idea. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, until I put, until I'm like um, putting the pictures up and stuff, then I'll know what this has. But honestly, I don't know what this has. So I'm not even going to make up anything. I can't smell anything distinctive, distinctive to my nose that I can pinpoint what it is, but I'm going to, I'm going to try to describe to you how this smells. This is musky to me. Let's spray it on my skin because girl, I'm struggling. Okay. I've used it up actually for me having so many fragrances. Look, look at that. Like I have used this up. Um, I, I kind of use it like sparingly because I'm like, I don't want to waste you all. <laughs> so unisex for sure super sweet but at the same time kind of green you're probably gonna hate me right now but i mean it's just good <laughs> it's just good i mean okay let me try to be a little bit more, more, uh, more accurate, right? Cause I'm, I'm over here doing some perfume videos and I don't know what the shizness I'm talking about. Actually, I don't know what the shizness I'm talking about but with this perfume because this is so unique, so different. It is masculine and it's very feminine. So it's a unisex. That's for sure. Right? You guys, it's sweet, green, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how I think this smells like. Are you ready to hear it? It smells like you're with your man, right? And your man has a uh, cologne all over his body. And then you hug them. And you know, like when, when he smells so good that he's like kind of like sweating it off. And then you go home and then you smell his shirt or you smell your shirt and it smells just like him. And, or you smell your shirt and it smells just like your man or your boyfriend's or whatever. That's exactly how it smells like. Yeah, it smells like you made out with your man and he left his lingering, delicious, masculine cologne into you. But you had your, your, your perfume on as well. So it mixed with his cologne and your perfume. That's what this smells like. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It just smells super delicious, super good. But it is not a blind buy. Blind buy blah, blah, blah. It is not a blind buy. So if you go out and get it, girl, because I'm telling you, you're going to smell like you just made out and you sweat it out or you just hug your man and he got his fragrance all up on you. And then you come home and you're like, what the hell is this? Girl, don't blame me. Girl, don't blame me. Anyways. This lingers all day. It does. It's not like like a beast mode. These are not beast modes, okay? These are, they'll stay on your skin forever and ever and ever and ever. But you guys, this one will become into kind of like a skin scent, but not. It'll linger on your skin, on your hair, on your clothes, and you will smell your blood. What is that? Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God. Just smelling this, I want I want the big bottle. And and I love the bottles. I'm gonna put the picture of the bottle, but you guys, it's really delicioso, really good. It's really good. I, I wish I would know what's in there, but I just can't pinpoint anything out. Try it out. Before you guys see, I don't know, because you guys have seen my video, but I was like, before you guys see the nose, you guys try to pin out, pinpoint out what it has, but. You guys are watching my video, so you guys will see it over here or over here. Okay, last but not least, I was really debating and leaving this one out, but I'm bringing it in. I'm bringing sexy back. <laughs> Love, don't be shy. 
by Killian. Okay. Sweet with orange blossom. Um, Neroli. This will stay on your skin forever if you overspray. Hear me out if you overspray. I think it has sugar in it. But the orange blossom and the neroli, and I think it's the sugar, you guys, makes it super duper sweet, super duper sexy, super delicioso. You can wear this because of the neroli. I think I'm pretty sure it has neroli in it. Um, because of the neroli, there's like a sharpness to it, like whoop, that makes it. I want to say makes it year round, honestly. But this is great for a date night, for your girls out, for um, it. Ha you have to go out. You this one? Oh, the BDK. You guys. Wow, I haven't smelled that one in a while, actually. <sighs> so good. So good. So good. <laughs> you guys, back to love, don't be shy. <laughs> um, this will last on your skin all day. It smells like marshmallow to me. It smells, it smells very candy, very sugary, very caramel, very edible. But at the same time, very fresh and very elegant, very dinero. Yeah, it smells expensive, actually. So does BDK. But look at the bottle. Nobody shows ever the sides of the bottles. And this is matte. So when you hold it, you're not going to like, whoop, it's not going to slip off. Uh, I love this one. This actually smells a little bit like um, Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. It has that hint. And that one I bought first before this one. And I thought, if that smells like love, don't be shy. I want it in my life. I want it in my collection. Because the Neroli in there makes them super... I don't know. It's just, it's, they're just good, marshmallow, frag marshmallowy, sweet fragrance, sweet, edible. I think I love edible, huh? I think I love gourmand fragrances. So everybody says that this is um that this is Rihanna's signature scent. What do you guys think about that? Do you, do you guys think that's true? I don't know. I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for the hype because everybody was saying how delicious and how delicious she smells. So everybody just went buzz like buzz crazy over this fragrance, and I was like. I want to smell. I, I, I want to see. But when I smelt it, I was underwhelmed. I was like. Do you really think that that Rihanna smells like this? I'm not. I don't know. Anyways, that has nothing to do with the video. This lasts on your skin all day, all day, all day long, all day long. It is not a beast mode, but you will smell this on your skin all day long. So, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share me if you will like. What am I saying? Please like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Yeah, I hope you guys like this video. These are my 10 most lasting fragrances in my collection. I hope you guys enjoy. Besitos a ti. Mm -hmm.